Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. In this video, I'm going to complete this backend development project on FreeCodeCamp. This is going to be under API projects. You're going to build a request header parser microservice. Uh, basically, in layman's terms, what this means is we're going to set up an API endpoint that when the user navigates to, uh, so just a URL, when the user hits this endpoint, uh, we're going to respond with some JSON, JavaScript object notation. Basically, it just has a key uh, has three keys. It's going to have their IP address. Um, it's also going to have um, it's going to have their language and their operating system. Let's go ahead and build this out. And I want to show you guys. Uh, it's really not that hard. So I was building it out for fun, but let me clear this out and uh, go back out. And we're just going to call it uh, header microservice. I'm going to change directory into there. And we're going to create a server for ourselves. And we're also going to npm init to create a package.json. Awesome. Uh, we'll just say header. Just call it header. Awesome. And let's install Express. And I just want to install Morgan. We can get some basic logging going on. And I'm going to open it up in Sublime for us. And let me just set up our server. So say var express require express uh, then we'll say var app equals express and then let me bring in Morgan for us require Morgan and and then we're just going to use Morgan real quick so we just say Morgan I just want the development mode but you can also use combined or short um, and then finally we'll create a port up here probably at the top because it's a constant so var port equals process dot environment dot port for 3000 if you're wondering what the process is this is a environment variable provided to us when we installed node so it's global um, then we'll do app dot listen port pass it an optional function we'll just say uh, console dot log listening on port plus port and then Let's set up our endpoint. So we'll just create one right here. We'll say var API, and it's just going to be slash API slash um, who am I? Because that's what they have it as here. Who am I? Actually, it's just lowercase all. And so we'll say app dot get API function request and a response. And now all the data we need is in our response object. So real quick. I'm just going to do a response to send. Okay. And but let's actually log out our uh, request. I can show you guys that indeed all of our data we need is in there. So let's go ahead and go to here. And we're not getting anything. But if we go to API slash who am I? And we'll get an okay right here. We'll also get to see everything inside of here. And everything we need actually guys is in the headers key. So I'm gonna show you guys. One thing that I won't be able to get for you guys is the IP address because I'm on a local host, so I'm not gonna do that, but I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, for me, it'll just show the 127-0.1, whatever it is. Um, so let me keep going up. So we have headers, see the host. Um, the host is, for me, that would be like my IP address in a way. Um, we want our user agent, which will tell me what like browser I'm using. And then we also want, uh, the other thing we want guys is we want this, uh, accept language, which will say, which is going to be the first language. So we could split this, but I'm just going to print out the whole value. And, uh, the other thing that we would want would be uh, socket. Um, so it would be socket uh, connection, but, uh, let me see. Socket. Yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to get the IP address. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but I'll try and log it out for you guys just for fun. So I'm going to create some variables here. So we'll say var language. We're going to set that equal to request dot headers. And to grab this key, we'll do um, user. Go back up. And find it real quick in here. And it's going to be request.headers. Um, 
uh, accept language and that'll store our language key. So let me grab that accept language, enter language, and we also want var, uh, what was the other thing? Sorry, var browser or var user agent equals request dot headers. And then let me grab that key, like that, uh, that string right there. And this is going to be user agent. Um, cool. And let me see, user agent, and then let me first, let me send this. So we'll say language is language. We we'll change this to JSON, and then finally we'll have user agent is equal to user agent. So let me res respond again. So here we go. We're getting this data. Now let me see if I can get the uh, IP for you guys. IP quest dot um, socket quest dot uh, remote connection dot sockets. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Request dot remote connection. All right. Let me see if I can log this out. Say IP is equal to IP. And then remote connection dot sockets. And let me see if I can get this grid user agent socket dot socket. Let me see where I found this. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but let me try one more thing. Uh, request uh, remote connection. Request uh, socket uh, remote connection. I think that might be it. Let me see if it works. No, that still doesn't give us anything. Let me see. Um, express IP address. I was looking at it earlier. Um, let me see if I can find it down here he was saying request.socket.remote address uh, request.socket.remote address okay request.socket.remote address and again I'm telling you you're only going to see the one uh, there it is one that's the IP but really it's just localhost 3000 so I would say for me I would put in my host and I would do request.host and then I would just say host is equal to the host and then that makes more sense to me um, so yeah, guys, that's about it. Uh, pretty simple project. Again, you still have to have a pretty decent knowledge of express and like being able to set up your web server and sort of understand what an API endpoint is, how you can, you know, look at this data we're getting back, uh, from node and, uh, you know, how we can parse it and understand what to do with it. But, uh, that's it guys for the header microservice project on free code camp. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.